everyone today we are with uh, niamul bashir so niamul has made it to his dream institute isi uh, with a rank of uh, air 12 all india rank of 12 and uh, what is uh, also exciting that i was just speaking with him was he appears to be one of the first from his college to be able to crack this feat so he is from uh, bhavanipur college in calcutta university and uh, so niamul we are here to understand that uh, like you were saying that you uh, always knew that consistency is going to be the key to this and i was just telling him that i have seen him be asking me questions since the first day so i and so and that continued so it wasn't that you know he had a lot of steam earlier like a lot of people start off very well they you know they uh, they ask lots of questions they want doubt sessions and everything but then in the middle or when your exams are there towards the end uh, you know they lose that steam and you know they think that oh is sal to nahi hoga maybe next year maybe uh, too close to college exams or this that so but i didn't see that happen with him i saw that he was consistent from the day one until the last day this was the pattern So Niamul, firstly, heartiest congratulations uh, on Thank what you you've achieved. Thank you so much. And uh, yes, so um, first, tell me how is the feeling at home, and how are you feeling? Uh, on cloud nine, ma'am. I uh, means I have been through the journey. It's not all of a sudden. I saw that coming. I will be getting, or I will be selected for the interview. So I am happy. I am satisfied with myself. But my parents are on a different cloud, ma'am. They are on cloud nine. They are very happy with me and my results, and they are just boasting it off that my son has got into ISI. and stuff like that of course it is it is and uh, and so niamul like i will just put it very bluntly so you are from um, you are from bhavanipur so that does not that means you're not really you've not been a topper throughout it's not that you know from class 12 also you scored the maximum marks and abhi abhi isi ho gaya so what gave you so starting how was your beginning like did you have the belief from the beginning that if i work hard i'm going to make it or how was it how was your mindset earlier when you start off so this is generally for people who are not let's say from the top colleges so you are not from let's say a du srcc you are not from yeah. a zavias calcutta or you know something like that so uh, you are from an average cu college so yes how with what mindset does a person like you start or how would you uh, what would you tell your juniors who are coming from average backgrounds uh, so first of all man the college doesn't actually matter because they won't be asking the interview which college you are and they will be grading on you that this is not iim so your background won't matter that much but what matters is the economics knowledge now economics is a subject that is more likely to be attached to you you just can't memorize and go with it the micro microeconomics concept the macroeconomics concept it has to be built in so i studied economics from 11th and 12th then i got a likelihood into it at first i was into maths then i studied economics and i thought that economics is the go to subject for me so i chose uh, bachelor's with economics now what happened with me was that i was i passed out my 12th in the covid year so the marks was given to me rather than me earning the marks so i did not get the top colleges also from cu but i had no idea that i could pursue economics at a higher level means i did not have that environment around me saying that i could go to higher uh, heights i they means all i could think of was calcutta university now there are top colleges in calcutta university like molana azad scottish church but even with my marks i did not get even there so i tried for bhavanipur and they gladly took me in so i started studying economics now the curriculum of uh, bsc economics in calcutta university is good so i started studying and fell in love more with the subject and when i finished the third semester i got to know that i have a scope in masters studying from big colleges and there are institutes like edu sure who train you for that so i thought of it for a week and then i got to the point that let's do it so my target wasn't isi all of a sudden means i thought of getting the top colleges there were many there are many colleges like dse jnu iits ihdr so i thought of targeting the colleges but i didn't have a specific aim in my mind then i started studying and then when i started studying i thought that if i give my 100% into it maybe one day i could even get into isi so that's how the journey started and then i understood that consistency is the key okay so the journey started with not really knowing whether you can make it to isi or not but as you started studying you were saying as you started studying you felt that maybe isi is possible so how did that happen when uh, you started so started... kind of uh, make you feel that okay this is not that hard maybe i can do this No, no, I won't say that. Man, that would be a lie if I say that. Uh, when I started solving the papers, they were pretty hard, and I got demotivated. But then that was the end goal. If okay. I could solve the paper in the first year or in my fourth semester itself, then what do would I do in the uh, the last year, the fifth, sixth semester? So I did not target uh, that uh, that huge of a target. I kept small target for myself. Like uh, I would study a subject with the uh, editor, like my, uh, national income. Then I would prepare the national income as a whole, and then I would appear for the online test of the editor. And if I, uh, I started scoring good in the uh, online test, and consistently I got my Yeah, I consistently got recognition from Edusure, and then that gave me confidence that if, okay. uh, if from a top institute like Edusure, I am topping in all the exams, then why not the whole of the country? Why not in that list that I can get into ISI? Right. And that so gave the, me a boost. So you're saying that the regular tests that you gave, 
that you took you so importantly also you gave those tests right yeah, really. because I never... I, I, the tests were for everybody but not everybody would take it and some and yeah. but you took that as your milestone that i have to give a test so i have to finish that portion before the test and that that would help you stay regular and then consistently performing um, in the test that gave you confidence that uh, yeah. you know that you you are you are doing well in them so you know one test after the other test so you wanted to see does that uh, you know the to- releasing the toppers list that we would do every week would that motivate you definitely ma'am yeah. it was the biggest motivation because uh, you can boast about it i know it's not that big of an achievement but yeah you can show your progress to the world and yeah. the uh, small tiny progress is the main thing they say no boon boon to sagar banta hai that actually is a term ma'am mm-hmm. that actually is a thing mm-hmm. small progress small steps make you uh, take you further on and then absolutely, i also absolutely. appeared for so then- uh, I, i appeared for the azim premji test so i had in mind that even if i get in i won't study there because i didn't means that is a good college but i thought i could go Not further too. but i took it as a mock test rather than a full fledged test i took it as a mock test and i got through so that right. uh, that made my confidence into 100 times few people yeah, so they don't the- appear for the test ma'am that uh, take you may want to target anything but take everything else as mocks because that real life jo hota hai that ah, given that an actual ha uh, wo that simulation you can never get in a mock yes. the actually the azim premji exam was held in 2023 so even the syllabus was not completed as of then ma'am but yeah. i still thought even with that 80 90% syllabus that i know and if i attempt that well then why can't i get through so i gave it my shot and then i got in also right so that gave me confidence so um Okay, now taking uh, taking it a little further. So Azim Premji was in December. You gave Azim Premji. You got in. So that also increased your confidence. Yes. Yeah, I'm saying so. Th- this was December. Azim Premji. Then what yes. happened? Uh, did you give IIT in Feb? Yes, ma'am. I gave. Okay. So how was your result in IIT? Uh, in Gate, I got All India Rank twenty, and in Jam, I got All India Rank forty eight. But the worst part was my my university exam was clashing with Gate. Like I had an exam on Saturday, university exam. On a Sunday, I had Gate. The gate was on fourth of February, and the university exam was on third of February. So that really, really broke me off. So what happened was, ma'am, I had my AIR forty eight was so going to be study for that. So for the whole week, I studied okay. for the university exam, and then right. on Sunday I had gate. So I just had an evening to study for gate. But even after that, I secured all India rank twenty. So that even gave me more confidence than before. Right. Okay. So that is good. So you were uh, little milestones were giving confidence. and then uh, you you got a good score of gate without really a uh, good rank in gate when you couldn't put that much hard work so that also you're saying uh, was a confident booster so these are all the good parts uh, niamul about your journey tell take me to the times when you said that you got demotiv- motivated how was when was that and how was that uh, the biggest part of the demotivation came from the university exams as we are uh, if i am not a dropper ma'am so if i am studying my university as plus for competitive ma'am the times right. are clashing since right. studying bsc economics is not that easy the syllabus is huge yeah. more than economics we have to study mathematics and statistics and econometrics and all so i have to give my time into that so during the exam means one month or two months before the exam what i had to do was i have to divide my day into two times day and night for the whole day i would study for the university and then at night i would study for the competitive so that part got me demotivated i i had to sacrifice a lot of things mm. how, and how many that. months did you do this studying for your university in the day and uh, eco pg at night uh more than 2 months more than 2 months which were these 2 months uh january and february i would say no not february sorry december and january december jan and that was hard right that was that was that tough. was scary. that was tough scary everything especially january part one that was really really tough because you also have a fear of failing in the bachelor's exams means even if you crack up even if you crack up the competitive exams and get all india rank 20 and 15 then you end up failing in your bachelor exams then you lose a year all those marks are for nothing mm. So, uh, how many hours did you put it at put at night? Like, how did you tell me exactly that? Uh, how many hours did you study at night? What time to what time? To be honest, ma'am, I did never kept a time of how many hours I'm studying. I just kept on studying. I had a daily target, like I would finish this chapter or this portion for today. This many this many questions. So I kept on studying until I finished that. It may be four a.m. It may be two a.m. Day to day differed, but I had targets and I had to finish that. If I did not finish it, I won't sleep till night. Maybe wake up a little late the next morning, but I won't sleep before I finish the target I had. So you did you have college the next day? I won't be lying, ma'am. I did not go to college physically that much. I skipped my colleges, mm-hmm. college classes. I studied economics from my own, and more or less the syllabus is same. It's just that when you're studying for competitive, the depth is depth is not that much. You study mm-hmm. superficially, but for the university exams, you have to go in depth and study all the derivations 
and how to form your answer. So I had idea from the competitive itself, but I had to read books and notes. So I did not go to college. I won't lie. I really went to college. Now okay. you have to sacrifice so have, something. You have to sacrifice somewhere. So you have to sacrifice yeah. going to college. Hmm. So that was tough. So Jan was tough. Uh, you had your exams in Feb. And then uh, there it was CUET uh, time in March. March. And how was, how was March for you? Uh, I would say easy. After studying for IIT, the CUET was actually easy. But since we had the fear of IJD joining in and the paper being much tougher than 2023, so I won't say yeah. that easy, but because we had to practice a lot of papers. Even I practiced ISR and DSC papers for CUET. Ultimately, it was of no use, but still. Mm-hmm. It came as okay. a shock, the CUET paper. Right. So the CUET paper was in, um, in March and then right. April, May, you just did ISI. ISI. Two months only for ISI. Two months only ISI. Right. So the calendar was good this year. You could actually break up your studies into only IIT in Feb and yeah. only CUET in March and only, you know, ISI in April, May. So that way the calendar was good this year. That was the best part. Ma'am. And the best part was that there was no break. Means if you're actually aiming for the exams, there is no break. Because even a day less than two months is very less for ISI. Because you have to yeah. finish all the years. And I went till 2001. I solved okay, till so 2000. 2001 to 2024, uh, 2023, all the papers you did. Yeah. And okay. actually, ma'am, the treating the past year's papers as some questions that can be repeated is a bad concept. It means the questions are never repeated. But if you actually go thoroughly to the past year's papers, you can get an idea of every concept that is in there. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, the best so part. Yeah, so actually do that. They try to memorize the questions. So, that, uh, yeah. Actually, so, uh, memorizing a question is good for CUET level, ma'am, because they actually repeat the questions or that type of question. What ISI does is, uh, there are certain parts, they give out questions from that, like, for a question for binomial. Now, the question will differ from every year. They don't repeat any questions. But the concept you have been gathering in this 21, 22 years, it will come inside from that only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so in the end, the practice that I gave you all, the extra questions that I was giving, that the aim was that only. That twist the questions. If somebody yeah. is mugging them, don't do that. Yeah, it actually worked. Yeah, yeah. That's, I'm so glad to hear that. So, Niamul, uh, 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 anything else that you would like to share? Any Any other tips? Or anything uh, that you would like to share, whatever you went through, or any tips that you have for your juniors who are kind of sitting, watching this, thinking whether you know you should we should take this journey, is it worth it or not? As I may, the most common thing that people that these days I started saying, is only fifty seats to it. And I was like, Arey, to usme, uh, aapka IIS mein kitne seats hote hain? So, jo aap That's the main thing, right, ma'am? That's the main thing. Since khali fifty seats hai, so if you get in there, then your life is heaven. Agar yeah. zyada seats hote to kya hi fayda tha? You have to yeah. be the cream layer of the students, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so my advice, my main advice would be, ma'am, don't put so much your time on theory. Concentrate on the sums and the type of different different sums. The theory is there for you. You ha- should know the theory, but you should only yeah. know the theory. You don't have to buy hard the theory. Use your theory into different sums, especially for uh, example like IIT and ISI. And for CUET, you can't cover the whole syllabus, the Indian economic syllabus, obviously. There will be mm. pa- uh, some parts that you may leave, but mm. focus on your strengths. If okay. you got your strengths covered, then it's done. CUET also. So what do you mean by focus on your strengths? And um, because as far as I analyzed, like the CUET paper, the cutoff, at least as of now, what it seems is pretty high. You know, what I, what DSE and IGIDR has taken out. So you need to be good at everything. If you are not good at everything, then uh, it's like uh, about 80% is the cutoff. So unless you are able to solve everything, how will you manage that? This year, it was a different issue altogether, ma'am, because the paper was not even of CUET level, I would say. This was the mm-hmm. easiest paper of all time. So regularly, the papers are not this easy and the cutoff falls down to 220. The, the main part, what I am saying is that there will be approximately 10 questions from CU, uh, the Indian economics. Not 10 questions, I'm saying if yeah. there are 10 questions. So 40 marks from there. Now, it's very impossible to know all the 10 questions since it's the syllabus yeah. is large. So you may know five strategy. or six questions. Right. And it, right, right, right. Yeah, strategy. Five, five, if you attempt the five and six questions from there and the, the microeconomics and the macroeconomics questions are easy for you. If you have appeared for right. IIT gate and jam. Right. The right. Best advice yeah, that's I would exactly say, what I the best advice that I would say is that start preparing for every exam, even Azim Premji. In that way, you keep on giving live mocks. This mocks are the best mocks that you can give. Rather than sitting in your home and right. giving online mocks. That's also important. But going out there and seeing the field, feeling the pressure and giving out exams is a different field right. altogether. Right. All right. And um, okay, if I had to ask you in a nutshell that uh, name the top three things that you think, think uh, helped you in successfully cracking, cracking ISI, what would they be? Uh, Edusha, first of all. Okay. Uh, consist- consistency. Okay. And, mo- and motivation. 
So keep yourself motivated, be consistent, and follow and everything that you do. All right. Thank you, Niyamul. Have a great time at ISI Calcutta and uh, enjoy yourself. Sir has great memories from there. And uh, yeah. we're still touching with his friends from ISI. So I'm sure you'll have a great, great time there. Thank you, ma'am. Thank Thanks you. For that. Thank you. Niyamul.